The head of the table. The tribal chief. Protecting his Samoan family legacy on top of the food chain. A main eventer since day one, but now the tribal chief is tougher than ever. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Pensacola, Florida. Weighing in at 265 pounds. The WWE Universal Champion, Roma. The man who upholds the Anawai family legacy by any means necessary. Roman Reigns always in tremendous physical condition, probably the best shape of his career, but now more dangerous, more dominant, and more focused than ever. Will not relinquish his seat at the head of the table for anyone. Roman Reigns looking to continue expanding his empire. Ah, the beast is in the house! His opponent from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds, the WWE Champion, Brock Lesnar. Well, I can assure you Roman Reigns is not frightened of Brock Lesnar, but the big dog had better be cautious. WrestleMania 31, it was Roman Reigns who became the foundation of Suplex City. If I had to pick out a modern-day version of the irresistible force meeting the immovable object, he's got the shoulders down. He manages to make it barely a one count. That's too early for that. Oh, a punch. Big counter from Reigns. That's mounted with punches. And not, oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Bang, elbow drop. You have to think this match is going to favor whoever controls the pace. A faster tempo would clearly play to Roman's advantage against the lumbering beast. I somehow agree with you. However, on the other side of that coin, a more methodical pace gives Lesnar the advantage where he can just slowly tear the tribal chief apart. Kick to the gut. He is a sight to behold. Take a picture while you can, everyone. Here's the pump handle. Suplex launched. Range and a quick pin attack. Two. He goes. Now the official didn't see it. That's a shame. Here is your winner, Roma. Tonight, the big dog broke the stranglehold of the beast.